Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to the American Republic and Empire Total War. It's actually still at the end of the turn from last episode, here in the winter of 1846, but before I ended my turn, with so many armies closing in on my forces here in Stockholm, Sweden, I was thinking maybe it's time to uh, give that territory away. I was just looking here, and my ally Great Britain is not at war with Sweden. I wonder if they'd be willing to take it over. That should make things nice and awkward for Sweden, although it may cause them to declare war on the UK. At least now, though, I save some money on all these repairs, Sir. and I can replenish these damaged and Sir. struggling armies over here. They've had a rough go of it. Austria, you are still hostile as well. Uh, France, you're indifferent, but can we trade? Sure, there we go. Thanks to my efforts, Paris once again belongs to France, although they're having some trouble keeping the population under control. They're getting almost 12,000 gold from it, not bad. Let's see, the UK owns Württemberg. I still own, what is this, Bavaria. And Austria and Prussia have a bunch of armies up there. I'm hoping to embarrass Austria a little bit more and get them to end their irritating war. And then down south, I've still got armies marching towards these Spanish territories. Once they fall, it's a straight line to Madrid. That takes care of the Sweden issue for now, though. I'm going to just hide my armies over here and replenish them, then strike out against other Swedish territories at will. Maybe trade one of those back to them in exchange for peace, now that I've taken out the heart of their empire and given their capital away. Let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens next. And we're back, and we're rich. It is the summer of 1847, and we have 71,000 gold. One of our admirals has died of natural causes. I'll replace him. Lots of recruitment in the Netherlands and Bavaria. 
and no buildings constructed. I think because we gave away Sweden. Your humble ready. servant. At the ready. Everybody replenish. Replenish, replenish, sir. replenish. Your orders? Yes, sir. I might march backwards against Denmark so that I can recruit new units. And these fleets are very injured. I also made one slight mistake in the intro. We're actually not at war with Austria. I think I forced them to accept peace uh, last episode. Well, they trade for a thousand gold. Let's make it two thousand. We're rich. They're not interested. That piece is definitely shaky. Now, Prussia is advancing on all sides here. First things first, let's make sure that all areas are replenishing. This army so, is topped off, I think. Orders. Yep. Sir. You guys are good, and you guys are good. Sir. Your orders. This army was going up here towards, yeah towards Amsterdam. Forward! Let's Forward get you up here. Country! Steam powered cloth mill. Replenishments going there. This general goes Bed here. Ready. March. Forward! Yes, sir. March. Well, let's do some army swapping. Ready and awaiting order. Waiting for your orders. By Ready the and land. Waiting for orders. March forward. Any further orders? For crown and country. Okay. Ready for orders. Sir. Onward. Oh, that your unit can't sir. quite reinforce there yet. Sir. Your orders. Who's the most injured here? Um, humble servant. Probably you guys. Forward. March. Not possible, sir. Forward. March. Into Ready the for capital order. with you. Forward for crown and country. It's a lot of awkward pathfinding here. Humble servant. Sir, your orders. Okay, so you guys have plenty of cannons. Same for you guys. How about Sir. you guys? Plenty of cannons. Sir, your orders. This army really has an extra cannon, I think. Forward! For crown and ready for Mark! Your humble servant. What they really need is more infantry and one more unit of horse. Republican Guard. Must have lost one of those. And line infantry. Got a lot of Prussian armies on the horizon there. So this fleet needs to come up this direction and clear a path for the rest of these fleets to get through around Sweden's navies. Do a quick save here. And come in like this. Ah, Sweden's got reinforcements from Prussia over here in the docks. I totally missed that. Let's retreat. And away he goes. Way away he goes. Good grief. Into my dock. Well, I guess you can repair while you're back there. Actually, I didn't realize they were that damaged. How about you guys? You okay? Yeah, you're okay. Uh, go here. You guys need some repairs, and I need to build some rocket ships. Let's do three rocket ships and a heavy first rate. Now, just a standard first-rate ship of the line. 
guess I'll keep these two navies clustered. Our income's gonna drop, but... Ooh, I see some Prussian ports I can raid. I'll destroy that one. And I'll destroy... Oh. Wait, the Ottoman Empire. Oh, you guys have cut a deep line into uh, former Russian territory. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ottoman Empire, who are you at war with? Um, Austria and Spain. You're allied with Prussia and Sweden, so that won't help me out, but... I have a feeling that Austria is not going to be an issue anymore. Not with how powerful the Ottoman Empire has become. Are there any more territories where I can recruit troops? Yes. Not a lot of troops, but some troops. And then, okay, here we go. That new army, they need one more cannon and a general. Humble servant. Don't need that many horse, though. Let's cancel one of those recruitments. Instead... Oh, I can't build any more puckle guns. I'll do... Hmm. Yeah, another 24-pounder howitzer. Got Prussian armies there. You guys are replenishing. You guys are guarding the fort. Even with the peace that I forced from recent battles, there's still a lot of fronts to this war. And our prestige continues to grow. We're passing the UK. Spain, you're up next. Yeah, I guess if this Swedish navy is sitting right here, I won't be able to cross and attack Denmark. <laughs> you know, I could bring these armies right across into Prussia's back door, but I see that they actually do have some full stacks. Chips orders? Even in the back of their territory. And a lot of full stacks back here. For now... I'll just have them replenish, maybe take over Finland. I can sail across quickly. Let's scout that out too. Officer on deck. Waiting further orders. Wait, anchor. Wow. They have full stack armies up here in Finland. That was unexpected. Make ready. Ready and waiting. Enemy sail! And a naval hospital. I'll burn that down. Man, one, two, almost three full stack armies. That's gonna, yeah, exactly match me. And I don't want an even fight. I want a territory that I can take over and then sell back to them for peace. And I'll bet that St. Petersburg is also pretty defended. Ships orders. Underway. Well, I see... Oh, I see some stacked flags. These guys are glitched. That's like four or five armies. I'm gonna leave their trading company dockyard intact because I am robbing them blind. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of just defensive moves happening right now. My goal was to wrap this series up by episode 70. But as far as Prussia is concerned, look at all those flags. All those black eagles waving in the wind. 
I can't do much right now other than just hold the line. At least for Prussia. For Sweden, though, I might go for Norway. I know they have some armies along the way, but I can probably fight my way to them, seeing they're kind of isolated. I think that's a good goal for Sweden. So Prussia, it's hold the line. Sweden, try and take Norway. And for the war with Spain. Make ready. Around and around we go. Make ready for battle. Victory is ours. All right, those guys are gone. Ready for order. Now for the rest of our armies to march and catch up. Anything more? Immediately. They do have yes. a full stack army here in Savoy. Can't quite reach it yet. But hey, I've got plenty of money. Aye, aye, sir. Now let's keep building some defensive fleets. First rate. And some third rates. Sir. You guys were heading up and here to the Algonquin go. territory. Ready. You guys are replenishing. I'm going to send all of you Provincial Cavalry and Minutemen and Line Infantry down to the Cherokee Territory just to hold the line. Got a fifth rate down here on the coast. I really don't see anything that I can build though. A lot of my stuff is fully upgraded. It's been so many turns. I'm officially out of research too. I think, yeah. Nothing left there. I guess I can build a few more ships down here on the coast. 24 pounder frigate already built. I'll do a flagship there, first rate, a standard first rate, and then check on recruitment here in my base on Iceland. Ooh, metalled roads. And you guys can finally recruit some actual infantry as well. Only two at a time though, that's slow. Oh, I can't build any more bomb catches or rocket ships. Darth Maud does put a limit on those, it looks like. Hmm. Any other recruitment hotspots? Yes, sir. I don't see anything. I've given away quite a bit of territory. I guess that's enough searching around. I guess it's time to end our turn once again. Next up will be either a defensive battle against Prussia or a battle against Spain here in the south of Europe. You know what? Let's go ahead and give the UK some money to help out with uh, rebuilding their new territories and for helping me. France, you could probably use that as well. Here we have our first opportunity to intercept. The British have a nice, well, a handful of units here. 
And we've got three armies. Prussia has a stronger initial deployment, but let's go ahead and take them on. Hey, at least the terrain favors us. We've got a nice big hill here. I want my just 12 pounder cannons right here. 24 pounder howitzers just behind them. Line infantry on the left. And the right. Cavalry, let's put you in a group. On the left. Light Dragoons on the right. My general will be stationed back here at this house. And I guess that covers all of the initial army right there. Oh my, target all of their artillery. Oh no, I didn't deploy my howitzers. That's okay, neither did they. <laughs> General, march on this way. Cavalry, spread out some. Ooh, rocket artillery. That's intimidating. Howitzers, fire, fire. You guys get into square formation because there's a ton of cavalry on the way. Artillery, switch to canister shot. Get ready for all this cavalry. Shrapnel shot, fire on the light horse. All you guys get up here. Move, move, move. Cavalry, go ahead and reinforce over here. General's bodyguard, you get up here. lost some men on our 12 pounder cannon. How are the howitzers doing? Oh man, our lines are getting pounded here. Canister shot, fire on the dragoons. Regiment of Horse, I want you guys attacking the Horse Guards and the infantry here on the left. Just keep them occupied. You guys form up over here. It's an awkward position to be in, but Republican Guard come back this way. Dragoons, hmm. We've killed one of their generals at least. Our light dragoons are falling back. Puckle guns deploy here. Howitzer deploy here as well. 
line infantry, square formation. One of our generals has fallen in this cavalry melee down here. Canister shot, keep firing. Howitzers, fire down here on all these light foot and horse. Okay, I've got my howitzers deploying to put some quick lime into the side here. Republican Guard, you're set up along with the puckle guns here to defend this artillery. Infantry, line up here. Cannons, keep that canister shot going out. There we go. Got that cavalry retreating at last. Attack that horse artillery. Actually, line infantry march down this way. Superior line infantry. Well, they need to die. Huckle guns, pack it up. We're gonna put you up here and bring you in from the side. The British have a howitzer and their general, basically. Ooh, some nice quick line. Cutting their superior line infantry right in half. Horse guards are holding on over here. Let's get you guys over here on the left in square formation to get ready for this cavalry, which has just broken my regiment of horse. I've got some more militia coming in at least. Reload, men. Reload. Come on. Fire! There we go. Both generals get up here. You guys come out of square formation and join this unit over here on the far right. Now here we go. Long riflemen from the side. Huckle guns move up. Ooh, the British got charged here by what's left of their dragoons. Long riflemen get up here and deploy some pikes. Okay. Both generals get back down here. Provincial cavalry. Come after this general's bodyguard over here. Militia, you keep marching up over here. I am very glad that I had this hill and this cannon for canister shot. Okay, so that cavalry's gone. Republican Guard, get up here to this house. Huckle Guns, I want you guys right here next to the house. 
you'll be firing uphill, but... Well, yeah, you will be, so let's put you over here instead. That's a better sight line up the hill. Long Rifleman, put down those pikes. How did the newest unit of line infantry break first? I don't understand this. Okay, you guys close the lines up here. Provincial Cavalry. I want you guys back here taking out all this artillery. There we go, some nice quick line hits there. What? The British won somehow. Okay, long riflemen, go ahead and move up. Howitzer, pack up. We're going to push you up just a bit as well. Republican Guard, take up the left side of that house instead. All you infantry, close this gap. Stop facing the wrong way. Either retreat or don't. Okay. So that's taken care of. You guys go ahead and march down to reinforce here as well. Yeah, they don't like having Republican Guard behind their lines. Cavalry, take out all of these artillery units back here, and then their general. Howitzer, I want you marching. There we go. Lines breaking everywhere. Cavalry, take out this general's bodyguard and finish off that artillery. I did notice that the enemy does have some spikes down here placed by their light infantry. Gotta watch out for those. And more howitzers, too late to actually do any good. There we go. Their last light foot has broken. We took some losses, but uh, we held our own here against a more powerful deployed army for sure. Now their rocket troop is back here. 12 pounder artillery. Let's get you. Wait, no. General's bodyguard is still alive somehow. At least their artillery has scattered. You guys form new lines. You guys keep using that shrapnel shot. On the militia for now. Howitzer, redeploy. Let's see if these long riflemen can actually reach these retreating soldiers. They might be just out of range. No? They're getting a few rifle shots off from those windows. Twelve pounder cannon, you go here.
Oh man, they're getting hit with some serious artillery. Round shot it is. They're trying to get out of range, it looks like. Well, guys, it's all over but the surrendering. Once I break these last few units, including their general, that should be it. He's exhausted. My troops are very tired, but we definitely outnumber them in the amount of horses that we have right here. And they're shattered and routing. Kill the general, though. I'm gonna keep going here to chase him down. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. And there we go. We got him. Battle won. And generals defeated. Like I said, we took some losses, but overall, that went pretty well. <laughs> you know, I think I really do have this hillside to thank for that. Between all of our armies, we deployed almost 8,000 troops. They deployed 2,300. We killed 1,490. They killed 1,239. I think their masses of cavalry and artillery, and actually, you know what? The line infantry as well all helped them. That sounds like a pointless statement, but it really was just a nice balance of forces for them. And it looks like, yeah, my initial deployment was very line infantry heavy. Took a lot of losses there. Fall back, Prussia. Fall back. I will auto-resolve this one. Send them packing once again. <laughs> that time, they stayed just out of range. Looks like Prussia is pushing up into my Amsterdam territory. I will auto-resolve this one as well. And honor. Fall back. I guess they decided that that was enough for this turn. Well guys, it looks like the Spanish have decided to scout us out, and this is a great opportunity for us right here. It looks like, yeah, they only have two units in that initial deployment. We have an entire army. They're going to have to reinforce, so their lines are going to be in chaos. We're going to intercept and definitely attack them right now. Now this is neat. We've got a church and some villages here on the Spanish coast. Very cool looking map. Uh, got a lot of hills though. That's going to be rough for all of our artillery. I think I'll keep my 24 pounder artillery maybe... Hmm. 
Actually, guys, there's no good place for this artillery. I'm going to do something different. Let's start with the cavalry, actually. Group you guys up. All on the left. General here in the back. Last unit of cavalry on the right. I want all of my other units, except for the cannons, in a line. What I'm going to do here, and who else do I have selected? Oh. What my plan is here is to take my masses of line infantry, backed by cavalry, march over that hillside, and take the crest of the hill. They only have two units, so now is my chance to strike first and take the good terrain. Let me go ahead and get you guys selected here. I want a move order out immediately. Okay. March, march, march. I'm going to go ahead and just commit all of my artillery. All of my artillery, all of my horses. I want the puckle guns up front in the center. And it looks like, oh, they're actually reinforcing from over here. Okay. Change of plans, everybody. Everybody turn. Cannons, where are you? You're over here. I want you right here. How it, sir? How did you end up in the back here? That's not good. Fall back. Everyone, go ahead and stop. This whole plan just went down the tubes. All of you guys get down here as quickly as possible. Everybody shift, shift, shift. Alright, charge in. Light infantry, I want you over here. Line infantry, I want you over here. Provincial cavalry, you're coming up this way. Trying to end this as quickly as possible. Shift lines, shift lines. Cannons, actually, head over here. Everyone go after that unit of horse. You guys, take position behind this fence. Cavalry fall back. Howitzers deploy and prepare to fire. Looks like they're going to charge our lines here. What a mess. What a mess.
Cannons, come on. Get into position. There's some nice quick line. Huckle guns. I'm gonna put you guys, well, over here for now. Messy, messy, messy. Yeah, Puckle Guns, go ahead and march up right here. Of course, get out of this group. Let the infantry line up here. Actually, no. Horse, attack this horse. Infantry back behind the lines here. Lost a bunch of our puckle guns and all this craziness over here. But hey, we have an exciting fight on our hands, that's for sure. You guys get back here and get deployed. You guys take the hill. Before you get totally taken out. Like our artillery just did. Got so many units back here that I have just forgotten about. There's just too much going on. We still have a really strong defensive line here. Cazadors, you're sniping us from the side. Well played. Huckle guns focus on these guys over here. Can't believe their quick lime shot took out my entire cannon over there. Regiment of Horse, I want you to take out these Cazadors. That should be just light infantry, even with 91 of them, I think that horse can do it. You know what, General's Bodyguard, go assist them. my cavalry back down here to take out their horse artillery, but wait, they've got pikes in the ground, not good. They're still having to fight uphill though. Horse artillery, fire on their horse artillery. Yeah. Fire on their horse artillery. Howitzer, fire on all this infantry down here. They're stuck in kind of a depression even with slight amounts of cover here. It's an uphill battle any direction that the Spanish forces try and face. I wonder if I can sneak these guys around to take out these cannons down here. I'll push the puckle guns up just a slight amount. You guys fill in the gap right here. Horse are getting attacked. Come on back up the hill. What a mess, but once again the terrain has saved the day, I think. 
Uh, you guys formed up a square formation. There's so many cannons back here that I want to kill. I think these walls really helped out too. Now's our chance, guys. Let's march out a bit. And push the Spanish forces even further back. That's just militia back there. Line infantry and what is this? Provincial scouts. You guys over here. And move it. Artillery, focus on their artillery. Maintain that attack. Let's put some quick lime down on that artillery as well. There's the quick lime right into all that artillery. A perfect hit. That almost scattered all of them in one blow. Come on, guys, get into position. Hurry up. Let's break that militia. And here come the rest. Yeah, now you guys are taking losses right there. Break, break, break. Here comes some more quick lime for the artillery. Another direct hit. I want you guys pushing up right here. Militia's broken. Now we hit them from the side with the cavalry. I want you guys marching in from this side. And this is the wrap-up. Even with their attempted cavalry charge up the hill to break my lines as I tried to reform them, I was able to maintain that defensive position from the top thanks to those walls. Close in on them from all sides. There goes that artillery right there. And we killed one of their generals up here in that initial engagement. And they all start to break.
No need for a cavalry charge. They are surrounded. Yeah, I'd probably run too. I'll end the battle here and call that one a success. Very interesting fight too. Good times. We deployed, looks like 7,800 men. They deployed 3,000. We did kill 1,200. They actually lost 1937, so there were a lot of losses from area of effect stuff like our quick lime shot. Top kills, regiment of horse and line infantry. Not surprising there at all. And there goes the Spanish army. That's going to end it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to check out the other series that are continuing on my channel this week. There should be some Armor 3, as well as most likely some more uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It's a good year for gaming, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.